So Lance Jonas, who actually uh, took a tumble, spare ribs Jonas. That's what we're going to call him now. So he had a, took, took a tumble into uh, Cape Town corner in race one. Luckily, no serious damage. So uh, we expect to see him on the grid and uh, ready to rumble then for race two. I see an opportunity for Spurs sponsorship over here. Though, <laughs> that you know? could be <laughs> some, yeah. You know, that's, a, that's a good point. That's a good point. But uh, no, the man's as tough as nails, Nick. Um, you know, it doesn't matter how many times this guy falls. The Jonas's in general are a tough bunch. Yeah, well, Lance is not getting any younger. You can't bounce as well as he used to. David Entercott on the outside of the front row of the grid. He's going to look to uh, improve on uh, race one. It was a solid start there for him. And uh, will he be able to put the challenge to the two uh, protagonists of race one, Hutchins and uh, Monoyani? Oh, looks like everybody's in order. Why have a green flag though when you have a John Green? And he's gonna get out of the way very shortly as well. Brave man, indeed. Doc, we wait for the lights. So, John Green, whoa, uh, Monayane is really, really eager to run. He's crept forward there, but checked himself. Lights are on, and away we go. A brilliant start there from Hutchins, who blasted to the lead from the middle of the grid. He's going to hold the outside line and take the line into uh, turn one for the first time. So Nick Hutchins, hey, he's got the lead there. Moriyame managed to good, do a decent enough start for second position. We have David Enticott that was... Actually, mind you, it looks like Enticott's there in second place. He's having a look there through to the inside. And uh, as they turn through, um, quarry for the first time. Yeah, they'll come out through the kink now into interceptor i think that is still mononyane that's actually holding second position at the moment yeah i think you're right anticots in third at the time holding a watching brief behind there he can't let those two get away from him too quickly that's what happened in race one but uh he'll come through the double apex right hander here at sort of under Marva sweep down the back straight will then run that is now the hsc racing uh uh, Suzuki that heads it away. In the slipstream though is Mononyane and he's going to be looking towards turn five per Tamina Fastron to make his way past and he'll poke the nose ahead right about now as they come to the end of this first of nine laps. Yeah, still side by side though but uh, Mononyane has got the inside line then going into Cape Town and uh, powering out then through the king onto the main straight. It looks like he's going to grab that lead back. No, they are still fighting it out side by side. And it's Mononyame on the inside on the brakes into turn one. He will take the lead on the brakes. But uh, Hutchins is not having any of it. He's trying to nose his way back in there. Etiquette the is there in third place. And uh, it's Lance Jonas in fourth position. And Jonas is giving chase and uh, following uh, his uh, accident in race one. But in the meantime, going through into quarry now, it looks like uh, Mononyame may have lost that lead again. And Hutchins managed to go along and sneak through. No, I think he actually held second over there. He looked on the outside into turn two, but I think what happens is keeping it nice and planted there, Mononyane putting in a fine ride so far. And uh, watch them as they come around. Uh, Enticott was about a second off of them as they crossed the line. A uh, seven tenths further back was uh, Lance Jonas on the Suzuki. Just looking a little bit further down, uh, it is Solomon that leads the 300 class. Uh, only a half a second though ahead of uh, Abigail Bosson. That's now the Kawasaki Ninja 400 versus the Yamaha R3. Yeah, Abigail Boston had a really, really good ride in race one, and she charged her way through to the end um, and finished in second place. Now, apparently, she was hitting the rev limiter all the way around the track, so they're looking to uh, be able to improve on that. And, uh, well, I think uh, Boston is now already in the early stages of this race uh, going along and snapping at Solomon's heels. But in the meantime, it is Hutchins that has the lead then over Mononyama, but he made a really good lap there the second half of the lap. Managed to pull out three tenths of a second over Mononyame um, with uh, Dave Enticott. Yeah, fastest lap of the race there for Nick Hutchins. And uh, what, a good three tenths faster than anybody else. Yeah, he's just taking the three tenths nicely over that last lap of the Enticott. He's now 2.2 seconds, so he's going to have to settle over there. Mark Jonas will try and keep him in sight at the moment. Jamie Hall down in fifth position as uh, uh, Nassim Scott, uh, uh, three tenths uh, further back off of him as well. But uh, it looks like, as far as things are concerned, uh, a good 23 riders still well and truly in this race with seven laps left to go. 
Uh, Sigurd Philip is the one rounding it off on the R3 with Stavra Michel and Garrett Gross. Uh, we don't speak much about them at the moment. Yeah, Franka Flach is also doing a pretty good job there and uh, uh, running around there in ninth position at the stage of the game, but uh, not too far away from Ralston is just in front of him in eighth. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that battle as uh, this race progresses. But in the meantime, our race leaders are going through into Cape Town corner. It is up front. It's still Nick Hutchins at least from Mononyama in second position. And uh, Mononyama is really coming back strongly over here in the latter stages of the lap. So he's looking pretty strong. And uh, actually, crossing the start and finish line, it's about three, two tenths of a second. So Mononyama was definitely the faster one of the two and uh, is now looking strong again as uh, the battle for third place is going to be raging pretty shortly because uh, Intercut has now got Lance Jonas climbing all over him as well. So uh, Spare Ribs Jonas is there ch chasing in fourth place on the yellow machine number 83 and uh, it is uh, Intercut there in third place and he's uh, just holding on to another podium position for now. Yeah, Mononyama a tenth of a second on the last lap faster than Nicholas Hutchins. Just under two tenths of a second, and uh, the fastest lap, a 121.209. I just see in the first sector now, it looks like Yama Yani is uh, quicker again as far as things are concerned. With six laps left to go, including this one they are currently on at the moment. Down the straight, they'll then run, and in the slipstream, they'll then run. He'll look towards the inside as they go towards the braking zone, and uh, should, if he's later on the brakes over here, poke the nose ahead. But I think Nicholas Hutchings is going to come across. Yeah, it looks like it. And Lance Jonas as well as having a go there at Enticat down the back straight. Enticat is not having any of it as well. Also, cuts across Jonas's bar there on the brakes into Cape Town corner. So it's still um, status quo. But for how much longer? These guys are really, really getting ready to go along and uh, rage into battle. Here comes Lance Jonas again, having a look up on the inside of Dave Enticat. Enticat covers the line and uh, will prevent Jonas from making any attack then into turn one. So it's all a matter of cat, cat and mouse now as uh, Mononyame is looking pretty fast and uh, is trying to have a go even on the outside then going into quarry. Oh, Lance Jonas took two tenths of a second out of Enticott over the last lap. He's closed it from seven tenths right to a tenth of a second between himself and Enticott. This is really hotting up now. Watch Lance Jonas, that bright yellow Suzuki goes through the kink now and into the right-hander at interceptor corner. Turn three, not close enough to launch any sort of a move yet, but he's got plenty of time. Oh, he's got, he's got the drive, he's got the drive coming out. That was excellent drive and he's pulled right there into the slip stream as they go along and break for the double apex right hand at uh, super sorrel sweep and he's going to go along and open up that throttle probably earlier and try and get alongside etiquette but etiquette is wise to it and uh, he is also early enough there and keeps uh, jonas at bay for now jonas has to then think about trying to dip back into the slipstream to try and get a drive so etiquette is really doing a good job there keeping jonas at bay but in the meantime our race leaders are almost side by side through the kink as they come to complete another lap and Mononyame is trying to dive uh, to the inside there of uh, Nick Hutchins on the brakes. Oh, I think he's got him. He got him on the brakes. Brilliant move. He just sliced him on the inside. No, it's lovely riding from these two. And the fastest lap, though, is still a 128.98 on Nicholas Hutchings. He actually crossed the line first. And then Yanni got right past him. Let's just say under braking. And uh, this battle, let me tell you one thing. They've been trading places every single lap multiple times. Yeah, they come through the kink now. Now, uh, looking on behind them, uh, Jonas is still holding in there as well on Enticott. They almost wheel to wheel here as they go along through the kink once more. And uh, Jamie Hall is 3 Point two seconds back. He can actually start closing the gap visibly as well. The more they keep each other occupied. Uh, Lance Jonas used to go along and race Power Sport very successfully. He actually won the title, a uh, Power Sport title, a number of years ago. And uh, whenever he comes up behind Dave Etiquette like that, he faints to the inside there at uh, interceptor corner and i always think that he's got to try and pull a wraps in and dive on the inside but this time around on the back straight he's got a good drive up into the slipstream oh and etiquette covers the line puts his bike right in the middle of the track and he says to jonas you want to pass me go around the outside and he cannot do that at this stage so can he riding there from dave etiquette in the meantime our leaders cross the start and finish line and it is still hutchins hutchins is going even faster 
just going down to the uh, 300 class. Adrian Solomon still leads in 11th position. Uh, bike number four, but he's ahead of Smith, who's of course in the uh, 600 class. But Abigail Bosson is hanging in there two tenths of a second off of Solomon at the moment. But he's going to have Robinson for company of 5.2 seconds further back. Hanging on the fringes of the podium there. And then Bosson still holding it at the moment. It's a good battle to watch out for as far as the 300s are concerned. Three laps left to go, including the one we're currently on at the moment. Next time again, it's going to be two more. Well, as it turns out, I mean, that battle with Solomon and Abigail Bosson, as well as uh, Smith in between, I mean, they separated by a quarter of a second. As uh, Yeah, they crossed the start and finish line right now. Yeah, thanks for putting that out. And uh, yes, yeah, so Abigail Bosson in the middle of that bunch, going through to turn one. She lost a little bit of ground there through to uh, to Solomon, but but she had managed to go along and move up to one position behind him because I think uh, Smith managed to get past Solomon again. Yeah, it was now about three tenths of a second between the two of them. Robinson still holding it on the podium at the moment. Maggie and then Alexander, as far as things are concerned, Alexander in 16th but keeping fourth place in the 300s class. Meanwhile, Hutchings, Moniane, two tenths of a second across the line as they came now. Two laps left to go over here. Watch out for Enticott and Jonas. A tenth of a second the last time between the two of them. Here they come now to cross the lap, uh, line to start their penultimate lap. Yeah, they've actually dropped quite some way behind our two race leaders. So uh, they are a good 12 seconds off the battle for the lead. So the battle for the lead is now going through into quarry. They're pretty much nose to tail. And then uh, our, two our two riders then battling for third place. And I must say, Ante Dave Antiquette is really riding the wheels of that machine to keep Lodge and Jonas at bay. And uh, he's maintaining a two to three bike length gap. But uh, he's still got a back marker that he has to negotiate as well. He's going to have to slice through. He does a good job through the kink and uh, Jonas cannot do anything about it. Blue flags have been frantically waving just to remind those back markers that the uh, leaders are coming through. Leaders usually have to fight back their way past. Now, it is a lap and a bit left to go in this race. Abigail Bosson crosses the line now. Three tenths still off of Adrian Solomon at the moment and uh, that will be two more laps left. Oh, she's got them. excellent drive. Sorry, Byron. she got brilliant drive coming out of uh, turn one there, trying to go along and have a go at Solomon. She actually cut to the inside line um, on, on uh, the brakes into turn one. She definitely took some time out of them and uh, now they're right behind Smit as uh, they come out of, uh, as they, the leaders start the final lap. Uh, they go to work their way through the kink now down towards Interceptor and Boston has an opportunity here to be able to try and take the victory. And this is the final lap of the race now. Here we go towards turn two, Quarry Corner. And uh, then they'll ease their way through there. It is still Nicholas Hutchins that leads the way. Two tenths of a second for himself and Monoyane. And three back markers that they have to negotiate. Now they go through the kink. They're going to slice them to pieces here as uh, they work their way to Interceptor. Oh, and they're getting slow. Bolt up over here. This is an opportunity. Mononyami looking to the outside. They're going to go and swallow up the back marker. One on the outside, one on the inside. And they're going to be side by side virtually on the brakes for Super Saro Sweep. Down they the Sorry, Nick. Down the straight we go now. Look at this. The back markers are playing a me a magic factor over here. In the slipstream, he'll then run towards uh, Cape Town corner. Pretty meter fast run. Turn five. Will he make the lunge? Will he get out ahead? I think he has. Uh, let's see them as they come out now. Will that green Kawasaki make his way ahead of the Suzuki there, Doc? We'll watch them as they come from behind the trees now. The flag is out, and it looks like Monoyane, but it's going to be a dash to the line. Oh, they're side by side, but Hutchins covers him. He just goes along and drifts across the line of the cross the bow of Monoyane. A oh, great victory there from Nick Hutchins. And, uh, yeah, seven hundredths of a second. And coming through then, we're waiting for third place. Enticat has managed to hold him off. He looks over his shoulder. That was a great battle there between the two of them. Lance Jonas finishing fourth, seven hundredths of a second then behind uh, behind Enticat. You know, I'm not a stickler for numbers or anything like that, but that's the third time today that exact numbers come up for Lance Jonas. Uh, a seven hundredths of a second exactly off of somebody else. And Enticat will get third. All of them. What gladiators we've had out there today. Yeah, in the battle for sixth place, we had Kutsia just finishing three hundredths of a second ahead of Smart, who was eight hundredths ahead of Flach. So a really, really close battle there in the battle for sixth position. 
and then uh, further nine seconds to wait before Ralston crosses the line. We have to see now, uh, Doc, we have Gavin Smith still coming through, bike number 82, of course the Yamaha, but the other one is Adrian Solomon. <laughs> will come just across the line, three tenths of a second between himself and uh, Abigail Bosson. Mighty rise from both of them. Yeah, Abigail was just not close enough to be able to launch the attack at the end, but uh, definitely kept Solomon honest. And then uh, rounding everything off here on the uh, lead lap of the race, Alexander coming through to complete uh, the full distance as far as things are concerned in this uh, Bridgestone Super Twin Cup 650 and Super Sport 300 race.